the July 4th sale has started. I guess they're calling it like Sinister or Summer or some weird thing. I don't know what it is, but um, July 4th sale has started, and uh, I'm going to be wailing pretty damn hard, honestly. Um, it is not in maybe like least to greatest order, because if I'm going to be spending US dollars on Marvel Concept Champions units and items, I'm going to be trying to do it as pragmatically as possible. Um, so I'm going to be opening things with as much information as possible before selectors, stuff like that, right? So here are some Valiant Crystals, which, which can give five to seven stars, as well as some Nexi. I think it's Nexi, uh, Nexuses, I don't know, whatever. Um, they are ISO, they're ISO. Um, useless Crystals, never get seven stars out of them, ISO, right? But, but we like ISO, so that's fine. Um, I did get a, a one new at the, out of the first 10 pop. I was really excited, then I saw it was a five star, and you know, it is what it is, okay. Valiant Crystals out of the way, uh, three six-star Nexuses, Nexi, whatever. Um, pretty standard. I don't really care about any champion in here besides, like, I guess it'd be cool to get six-star Wong, but he's also a seven-star. Like, I have all the six-stars of importance, so um, this is not going to help me. Archangel, however, is someone I'm going to ascend today, so I take him. Um, I guess Awakening Icarus is cool. I definitely don't have 15 generic six-stars. Uh, six star AGs, so you know, whatever. I'm uh, gonna open these max sig crystals, whatever. Um, pretty straightforward. Trying to move on to a little bit of the bigger stuff, making sure I'm not missing anything. Um, and uh, yeah, we have 80,000 seven star shards that we're gonna let rip. Um, I think first I just rip open this uh, relic. Most wanted is like probably Gam, and yeah, get him. I get Gambit. So. Yeah, uh, that's insane. He's the best six-star relic just because his stuff scales so much better. Um, I missed my chance to get a five pop here, which kind of pissed me off, but it's okay. We're going to go one by one, uh, looking for a couple people in the basic pool. Number one, far and away is Wolf. Um, number two, far and away is Spider-Ham. And then in various orders, we have a Photon Dupe. Mr. Negative, first time would be super cool. Um, Bishop would be super cool, uh, a bunch of others, I can try to shout them out as I pass, Mantis Awakening would be cool, um, there's, there's a bunch of stuff I want, definitely Wolf and, uh, Mr., not Wolf, Mr., Wolf and, uh, Spider-Ham would be the top two. This is pretty darn good, I was considering getting a Mutant Class Crystal for her, she needs the Awakening for her, um, for some of her utility, and so I'll probably take her up to rank two, and I have a six-star Gambit Relic now, so sometime in the next month or so, she'll probably go up to rank two. This one was kind of bittersweet. I do really like Jabari. I finished the Karina challenges a while ago, so there's no use to me now, um, but uh, she's a cool champ, so definitely not bad. Um, looking for something spicy, though. Oh, Hyperion Awakening would be sick. That That's one uh, that I'd really like as well. Um, and here, it gives me Sorcerer Supreme, Used to be one of my favorite war attackers. Not anymore. That being said, her awakening is kind of cool for Domino. I'm never going to use her in war, but uh, I can't really be that mad at it, I guess, just because I used to like her a lot. Um, just hoping to get something cool. Haven't got that much good stuff. And uh, that's pretty good. Um, a pretty tough rollover, actually. Um, so that that was that's a pretty crazy rollover, in my opinion. And it awakens my Iron Man Infinity War, who's super tanky. Eventually, he might go to R2 for... For Battlegrounds, he's a pretty annoying Battlegrounds defender, um, so I might take him up at some point, but he's not necessarily high on my list. Uh, that being said, it's definitely a good pull. Okay, then we got a Titan here. We're looking for, first and foremost, Red Skull. He would go so quickly to rank 3. Um, Destroyer would be okay. Onslaught Dupe would be amazing. A um, couple others here that I want. And uh, we do end up getting Destroyer, so that's pretty good. I do have a 6-star, but he's not ranked up. 7-star um, Destroyer, he might go up to rank 2, I'm not sure. Honestly, this Titan Crystal is pretty garbage. There's 3 or 4 really, really good champs, and then a bunch of garbage. So any good champ is going to be going to be great with me. Okay, so I bought the Odins that have the, the Class Crystals. Got one Mystic, trying to hope to get Wolf, because then I don't have to select him. Um... And I get Dragon Man, which is better than Wolf, right? Like, why would I want a new 7-star who's really fun, one of my favorite champions, um, when I can get a 7-star Dragon Man and it's not even an Awakening, right? Um, anyway, that, that's annoying, but it is what it is. That one had very few hits, so I can't really get mad if I miss one. This one has a lot of hits. I would love to get um, 
I, mean, I mentioned Spider Ham and also Photon Dupe would be amazing. Spot Sigs is kind of okay. It kind of hurts that it was next to a Photon Dupe. If I dupe Photon, she's going straight to rank 3, and so that's on my mind, but uh, Spot Sigs definitely not as good. It, it could be worse, though. Um, so, not that upset, but would have preferred the Photon. Um, that is what a bad pull looks like. That's what a bad pull likes like. I'm not going to do anything with Spider Gwen. She's such a garbage champion. Um, so that one pissed me off. Definitely not, not a good opening so far. Um, it's, it's going pretty rough. Okay. And, uh, I won Hulk Sigs. I never thought I'd ever say this, but I would have loved Hulk Sigs. Um, because, yeah, Awakening Spidey Classic is, like, not good at all. Um, wow, that sucked. Now we're gonna go into some Nexi. I love the, uh, six-star Relic Nexus. It's such a cool thing. I get Storm, who's amazing. She's, I'm missing her. Green Goblin, who's new, amazing. Um, I elect to Awaken him, because his Awakening, I believe, is better. Do I Awaken him or Sentinel? I think I Awaken him, yeah. Um, the Storm Awakening is actually quite good, and when I saw it, I was excited, but then I saw Mr. Sinister. Better to get a new one. He's also quite good. I had a list of all the Relics that I wanted that were new, and then all the ones that, uh, had the best awakening, so I know who to pick if there's a choice, right? So here, both Black Widow and Black Panther are good, but Black Panther's a little bit better. Uh, and then here, I'm not really sure which one's better. I think I go Juggernaut. Yeah, okay. So really, really good. Um, got a bunch of new relics, which is super cool. And uh, they all went up to rank 2. I probably have like 10 to 12 rank 2 6-star relics, maybe more. They're almost all rank 2 now, so that's super cool. Um... Then I have a couple Titan Crystals. These, again, I'm looking for... Um, I mean, honestly, even White Tiger would be okay. Not great, but okay. Um, and then all the other ones that I mentioned previously. And uh, I, I Awaken Onslaught, which is so sick. Um, he's already ranked 3. His Awakening isn't necessarily that good. It lets you block uh, skill champions, and it also... Does something with, I think it's his Daunted or his Neuroshock. It's, it's not that good, um, but it's just cool to have the Silver Stars and maybe Prestige in the future, not sure. I would have loved that Luke Cage, actually. I have an Ascended Max Sig 6-star Nova, and he really needs that, that Sig and Awakening. So, completely useless. Even at rank 3, he'd be worse than a 6-star Ascended, which sucks. So, it's a completely useless pull. I'd have loved a Luke Cage just to mess around. Not that I would have loved a Luke Cage, but... I would have preferred it to a useless champion. Um, so that one, that one kind of hurt. It is what it is. Going to go ahead and buy some bundles. I'm going to skip by this because ain't nobody want to see me open these garbage. Um, so yeah, open that. Then I go for the 1-2 um, the to two gem because generic rank up gems are just very helpful. And then here I go for the arcade games Nexus. The reason why is because I have a rank 3 unawakened Adam Warlock. And I would love to have a chance to awaken him. He's not in either pool. So it would be awesome to be able to do that. Um, I also would like to get Spider-Ham and uh, Hyperion and a couple others, so that's why I went for the Arcade. Um, here, I am just going to buy that real quick. Going to take the Titan. The base pool has Bishop. That's kind of the only one that I'd really want. Um, so, yeah. Uh, all, all this stuff popping up is, is not real, by the way. I already claimed that. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna go into this, we have an Arcade Games Nexus, Titan, I mean, you saw me claim these things, so you know what I have, first we're gonna get five seven stars out of here, right, um, spoiler alert, I don't get any, um, these crystals are also what I would like to call ISO, pretty useless, honestly, um, but, uh, it is what it is, that it, it just kind of, like, it's filler, I don't even know why they throw them in these bundles besides ISO, like, it's pretty stupid, um, anyways, enough with my rambling. No seven stars, no titans, just gonna make sure and check before I open up nexuses, uh, making sure I don't have anything else. Oh, yes, right. The two to three gem, the class is very important. The only class that I do not want is cosmic. I don't really know who I'd rank up for that, um, but looking for any of the other five, yeah. So, I get cosmic, the only class that I don't want, which, uh sounds about right. Any of you who play this game at a high level know that when you open a crystal, you'll get what you don't want, and uh, yeah, that that's pretty true. And if you don't believe me 
about why I wouldn't want it, here's your reason. I don't have any good science champions. They're all garbage. Like, I'm considering rank 3 unawakened Hyperion. So now the, the pressure's on. Hopefully I can awaken Hyperion from that Nexus, right? That would be sick. Um, okay, so spin out this thing, hoping for some cool stuff. And, uh, I mean, Storm's okay. It's not great for a Nexus. Like, it's not great for a 7-star. I'd be happy with it. With a Nexus, it's a little bit annoying. Um, but it is what it is. It's definitely not a bad pull. Like, I can't complain about it. Uh, it's, it's not that good, but I can't really complain about it. Okay, here we have a Titan Nexus, hoping for Red Skull, pretty much. Um, and yeah, Ironheart is definitely not Red Skull. Um, we're gonna take Dust, because she's much better than Ironheart. Um, and she's, of course, new, not gonna put Sigs on Cersei. Uh, Dust is pretty good. She can't really be nuked by any champion, I don't think, in Battlegrounds. So maybe I'll rank to her at some point. Uh, she benefits from the uh, Gambit Relic as well. Okay, just checking to make sure I don't have anything, but I do just have the uh, the Arcade 7 Star. So I'm looking for Spider-Ham first and foremost, um, second, an Awakening on Adam because he's unique, and then I would be okay with, like, uh, Hyperion Awakening as well. Um, and I get Penny Parker and Prowler. I mean, I guess Penny Parker. This isn't that bad, but it's not necessarily great either. I do have a Sigged up. I, I don't know if it's Sigged. It's definitely Awakened. A Rank 4 6 Star Penny. Um, seven star penny's okay. I'm never gonna use her. Um, it is what it is. It's definitely not like a hard miss, but it's it's not what I purchased it for. That's for sure. I definitely was not looking for a penny Parker. Okay, we're gonna go into our second round of unit offers here. Um, going to purchase the same thing for the rank up mats, and once again, I will skip by this because none of you want to see that. That's not what you're here for, right? So that's done. This time, I felt like gambling. I could have gone for another one or two. Probably should have because it's a better deal, um, but instead went for the arcade game 7-star. Um, I mean, you can see there's some really cool champions there. Hulkbuster would also be cool. I don't have him. Um, and then here, going to go for the Nexus again. Again, I'm hoping for Spider-Ham, who would go straight to rank 3. Adam Warlock, he's already rank 3, and he's not in any pool. That kind of stuff, right? There's some there's some really big hits in there, specifically for my account. Um, and here, might as well just open them before a selector. There's no reason not to clear your crystals before a selector. Like, it's pretty common sense. Oh, Guardian Awakening would be sick, too. Forgot about that. Um, <laughs> I say forgot about that, so obviously I don't get him. Um, okay. Uh, Black Cat Awakening would also be very cool. Um, just trying to get some cool stuff and uh, something that's worth it. Shocker Awakening would be awesome. And it rolls over the Guardian and gives me Falcon, which, like, come on. Like, a Guardian Awakening would have been so cool. A Falcon Sig is, like, just so useless, and it's Sig 60, like, that just pissed me off, um, because the arcade is just such a unique pool, and, and it really made me sad to waste a new, unique pool on a completely garbage 7-star, so, um, it, it's not going that great right now, it's going okay, um, the good thing about these deals is even if you completely whiff, this is not a whiff, by the way, I love Mr. Negative, he's one of my favorite champions in the game, I don't know if I'll rank to him, because he's just not that useful in Battlegrounds or War, um, but he's amazing, here, one more hit. Please, please, please give me something good. And, um, yeah, this is the worst crystal of the entire opening so far. Um, complete garbage, useless, uh, useless garbage. So, really, really sucky. As I was saying before I got shafted on a Nexus, um, the good thing about these deals is that a lot of them are very guaranteed. So, even if you get absolutely blasted on all the crystals, which I pretty much have, um, you get the benefit of uh, of having a bunch of guaranteed stuff. And so even though I got garbage, I still have all this guaranteed stuff, which is the primary uh, value proposition of these offers. So pretty good. Um, even though the RNG is definitely not on my side. Going to go ahead and pop this. Unsurprisingly got garbage. Okay, Paragon next eye. Uh, hoping to get a 7-star to kind of salvage this. On, give me a good cosmic seven star because as we saw before i don't have one um another seven five star nexus basically just iso another five star nexus it's just iso um <laughs> look another five star nexus i do want the sunspot awakening just because it's cool why not um okay not sure i didn't go the max sig crystal there why did i not do that i don't know um who knows was that a six star instead of a five star i don't even know i have to assume that's what it was okay yeah, that was a 6-star instead of a 5-star. Okay, that makes sense. And then, yeah, pretty straightforward. Got garbage. No one's necessarily surprised. Um, 
And uh, what else do I have? I have, I think, a couple more things to open. What is there? A Titan and a Seven Star, right? Okay. So I open the Seven Star, get a Hulk Sig. He's Sig 80 now, uh, makes him a real contender to rank three. Um, but I mean, I, I like Hulk, but he's not that good. Okay. Then I have a Titan Crystal. I'm gonna do a little method because I need to refresh my luck. And uh, yeah, give me a, give me a Red Skull. I'll rank three him so fast. He's first out of the reel. Come on, give me one. That's that's got to be a sign, right? Um, and this is the last crystal, I think, right? Yeah, she's already ascended. Um, all three of those people that you could see are already ascended six stars. So pretty big miss on that one and pretty unfortunate, um, which sucks. And uh, I think I'm out of crystals here. Oh, I have an Exalted Crystal. Okay, yes, perfect. And I pop it, and I get a 7-star Venom. This kind of saves the opening, because I can rank 3 Venom now. Uh, he'd be a cool rank 3. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's literally it, right? So the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select Champion. It's going to be Wolf. In hindsight, probably could have selected Adam Warlock and sigged him up to like Sig 120, which would have been kind of gross. Probably should have done that. That being said... Werewolf is a cool champion. I'm not, like, last time I turned down, I've turned down chances to get some of my favorite champions before, um, and it's always gone poorly. I'm not going to try to be perfectly smart. I'm not going to try to be as analytical as possible. I'm going to try to have fun. It's a video game. So having fun means picking my favorite champions when I see them. If I have a chance to get a seven-star werewolf, and I really like werewolf, I should get him. Even if I'm not going to rank him up right now, it's just the smart thing to do. Because it's a game. So I'm going to get the seven-star werewolf. Super cool. Um, and I also get 7-star Weapon X, because I spent 36,000 units. And by the way, I ground incursions for another 7-star, and I awakened Venom, so that's sick. So maybe I can rank 3M, that would be awesome. Uh, these are the rank-ups I did. I ascended Scorpion, I ascended Archangel as well. Um, I was waiting on Red School to get a 7-star, but I didn't, so I took him up from rank 4 and ascended him. Uh, this Nimrod one ranked up and ascended for War, you might have seen that already, not sure. Uh, this is Kushala. I just sigged her. I sigged her using the generic sigs because she benefits from them pretty heavily. Then I ranked three Domino because she's awesome. She's Domino. And I also went ahead and ranked three Juggernaut because he's awesome and he's Juggernaut. I mean, th these are great champions. I went ahead and ranked two Korg. And then my personal favorite rank up is I rank three and sigged Bullseye, which I think is super, super cool. And um, yeah, with Titania, that concludes my rank ups and my video. Thank you so much for watching.